Hello everyone, my name is Achila Fasina and I'm here on the very first video of Scopelik. I'm here to teach you TypeScript generics in under five minutes. So our time is short, let's jump straight to the code. First of all, um, what we have here is a factory to creating states and this factory just has a getter and a setter uh, and of course the getter only re returns my uh, the, the current state while the setter sets a new state and we're going to have two use cases for this so the first one is interactive state and the second one is going to be response state right now each one of them are the same exactly the same they're using the same factory and they have the same methods they're both only accepting strings so now the first thing we want to do is create an enum of the possible options of these states so for interactive state for this example we are going to have hover focus and active and for response state we're only going to have success and error for this example now the first thing we want to do is to start using our types so the easiest way to do it is setting the feedback state to be either an interactive state or a response state so right now if we try to set up a different state that's not uh, on the types that we have TypeScript's not gonna let us it's going to give us this warning it's basically stating that we need to use a valid state and same goes for the for response state now this seems to this is close to what we want it's not yet exactly what we need because and this, with this example, interactive state accepts also response state because uh, we are setting out in here that so uh, feedback state has needs to always match either interactive state or response state, and that's not actually true. We want to be able to set in our factory what is going to be the state of that instance. So in order to do that, we need generics. Generics are a way of using an argument to describe what is the type of that specific value in our function so we're going to start creating a generic s as in state and we're going to use it as the feedback state so now in our function feedback state uh, the state is always going to be this s and now when we are using our factory to create a state i'm going to say that for the interactive state state is only going to be a type of interactive state and for response state our state is only going to be a type of response state so as you can see here it's already accusing our error and if we switch it to use a valid interactive state it works and here the same so for response state it is only going to accept the response state but then if we switch it for something else it's going to complain if we switch it for interactive state it's also going to complain it only accepts either success or error and that's about it folks i hope uh, you have enjoyed it i hope you feel a little bit more confident about using generics in your projects um, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to stay tuned for whatever i'm going to be uh, publishing next use the subscribe button reach out to me on twitter if you have suggestions for the next video or if you have a feedback about this one and thanks for watching see you next time